This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Hey everybody, it's your man the Baron. We're about to do a pick a card. Make sure you take your time, select carefully, and let's see what Spirit has to say. File number one, we have the red goldstone skull. And as you know, the Baron is representative of the skull. In pile number two, we have a bottle of Hennessy. My Baron loved to drink. Y'all understand? And in pile number three, we have a nice cigar. All right, so try number one. You selected the red gold skull head. Let's see what message it has for you. First, I'm gonna select three numbers from this bowl over here, lay them down, and those will be the houses we focus on. All right, let's go. We have the sixth house, fourth house, and twelfth house. So, sixth house, fourth house, and twelfth house. We're gonna set them over here on the side. Let's get this popping started, rocking. Now, this right here, this is gonna be your call to action card. So I'm gonna save this for last. So after we get through going through all the three houses that Spirit wants you to focus on, this is gonna be your call to action. Typically, the call to action. It's calling you to do something. And a message here is going to be just something that you really need to do. Now, first we're going to go down and lay down these cards. We, laid, we picked out number 4, 6, and 12. I'm going to lay down these clarifiers on top of them. But as I go through each house, I'll separate them for you. We're going to put this card next to the call to action card because this is just the overall message of your reading, okay? So let's get started. We're going to go, we're going to start with your fourth, with your first card, which is in your fourth house. Your fourth house represents your actual house and home where you live. It represents the three closest people you will allow to stay in your home via friends and family. Now, in this house right here, you have, you have the four of earth. You have the full of earth in the upright position. Having this card in the upright position, Spirit is telling me that there is a lot of reward and gains to be gained inside your house and home. But with the, with the sense that you have a responsibility here is what they keep telling me, what Spirit is telling me, you have a responsibility here. Like they're saying, uh, no, reward without, no reward without purpose. They keep saying stuff like that or you getting this reward with the purpose. So be on the lookout for that. Now, let's clarify what Spirit was saying with this one right here. And the clarifying card, just what I thought. It has clear and shield your energy. So when it comes to your fourth house, you're getting the gain, you're getting the reward. This is telling me straight off the bat that somebody is moving. You're going to have to uh, relinquish something out of your house in order for you to gain something. How they say no, no, no reward without risk or without a purpose that's basically what they were saying so you get that now we're going to go over here to your sixth house your sixth house is ruled by virgo and is governed by mercury your sixth house represents your future economics future money wealth investment pay close attention to this one here this is what the money is on all right so in this house right here you have the sun card in the upside down position this shows that there is money being hidden from you. There is finances being hidden from you. If they're not being hidden from you, let's say that they're being tucked away, saved for a rainy day. And like, uh, I want to say this can be a good thing, but my spirit is telling me this is deceit. So who is ever hiding anything from you, your spouse, your friend, your business partner, take a, if you think, if you have an inkling that they're hiding something from you, Take a look at it because your future is at stake when it comes to your finances. Just try to look into it because this is a blinding spot for you. Now, the message here is meditate. If you, ain't, if you think these cars ain't real, I'm telling you now. They saying meditate. This means you need to take a deeper look into your future finances. Somebody can be holding you up. Somebody can be hiding something from you. Most likely, 
it's a business partner that's that's hiding money from so spirit is telling me that this is more of a business a union a contract style energy your contract partner is hiding something from you whether it's a contract in a marriage contract in a relationship contract in a business partner so spirit say meditate mean do a little deeper searching okay now we're going to go over here to your 12th house your 12th house is your third card your 12th house is ruled by Pisces and is governed by Neptune. Your 12th house represents negative vibe, deep, dark emotion, that which is hidden, that which is unsociable or cold. In this house right here, you have the 10 of fire here, I mean the 9 of fire in the upside down position. This shows somebody is getting up out of their bed, running around, ripping around, doing what they got to do, trying to make it happen. Spirit is saying this is your biggest enemy because you're moving blindly. You're moving blindly, by the way. So I think that person in your fourth house that you need to let go, get rid of, or put in their place, you're maneuvering yourself around them and you're being blinded big time with the finances and all that stuff. Now that message to you is you need to write. Again, this is contract. This is contract renewal. If you're in a marriage, hey, Sit your partner down at the table, tell them, hey, this is something we need to do. This is something I got to do. This is something we got to do. You got me. But don't don't let this, don't stay blinded. See what you got to see. But write or renew a contract with your business partner, with your relationship, anything dealing with financial finances. Let's revisit that. Now. We finna go to the my most favorite part here is the overall message of your reading. The overall message here, you have loud uh, the overall message you have yellow jasper. So yellow jasper say this is due to a control issue. I'm telling you people, somebody is trying to manipulate and control you. Guys, stop being snowed. Take advantage of, stop being snow, taking advantage of. Please research every aspect or issue you got going on with your life and find out who's trying to control you. This is an overall message. Now, this is the call to action card. Please, please take this card very seriously. If you don't pay attention to nothing else on this board, my spirit is saying this is a call to action and this is how they designed this. And my call to action card, you have death and rebirth this is a time for you to literally change this is a time for you to let something go and start something new what did these cards just tell you guys contracts revisit them put people in their place get things ground down ground things you get a reward once you clear and shield your energy once you get rid of something you get a reward in turn death and rebirth the message is there fam all right, everybody, I'm the Baron, telling you guys I trust in you in the universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all, Soul Tribe. All right, Soul Tribe number two, you all chose the Hennessy bottle. Let's see what message Spirit has for you. Again, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna select three numbers out of this here bowl and those three numbers will represent the cards that we're gonna talk about, the houses we're gonna talk about. Seven, uh oh, three, and eleven. Woo! Seven, three, and eleven. Seven, three, and eleven. All right. So as I stated before, this card right here is your call to action card. So I'm gonna put this down here. Pay close attention to this one because this is gonna give you exactly what you need to do to remedy this situation. All right, first card, going over here into your 11th house. Next card, going over into your third house. Next card, going over here into your seventh house. All right, the message, the message, and this card is your overall, overall arching card. This card is the general message, what you need to, what you, the message you're gonna get from the card. And I'll lay that here. 
So, let's start with house number three. So your third house represent communication. So your third, I'm sorry, your third house represent communication. It's ruled by Gemini and it's governed by Mercury. Uh, when we talk about communication, we're gonna spirit is saying use this house as information because as you know with Gemini energy, the message could come either way, good or bad, right or wrong, harsh or smooth. So just use this for information only. Take it in, nullify it, get it through your head, knock it around the old dome. All right, now in your third house, you have mm, you have the six of air in the upright position. So Hennessy tribe, spirit is is very clear what they're saying to me. So let me help let me help you guys explain. Spirit is saying at this time you guys need to start speaking logic to somebody. I mean you need to stop being so logical with someone, and you need to try to adhere to their emotional base. There's there's people around you typically around by six seven o'clock at night within that time frame from five forty five to seven hour and uh, about an hour fifteen minute span everybody you come in contact with you're being very harsh with them you're oh why in the dinner cook or you could have done it yourself you, you're being that oh I've been working all day spirit is saying it's time for you to become a little bit more compassionate a little bit more emotional with people caring even because this logical standpoint you guys are taking is really causing you guys a lot of heartache issue and loneliness at night again this is happening between the times of 5 45 to 7 30 okay now their message to you and your communication is again my cars don't play around detach from drama do you understand what they're saying you're causing this on yourself Hennessy tribe detach from drama be a little bit more compassionate. Now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, your marriage, love, romance, and passion. And uh, in this house right here, you have the Ace of Air in the upright position. I mean, the Ace of Air in the upside down position. This card tells me, without spirit even saying that, that somebody is literally hushing up when it comes to the romance department. Hennessy tribe, you guys chose Hennessy. That means get drunk, cut loose a little bit. And if you're not telling your mate, your lover, your companion what it is that you want, and and what the third card is saying, if you're being a little bit just too bitchy, time for you to stop because air is communication, words and verbs. And in your seventh house, if there's no communication, this says there's trouble in that house, in your romance house. So Hennessy Tribe, shut the hell up and start treating your mate with a little bit more kindness and respect and start loving them again. Say what's on your mind. Don't keep the stush lip. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, the message of your seventh house. My cars don't play. Health and healing. This is a time for you guys to detach from drama, start healing the situation. Be better at the situation, okay? Do better, heal your relationship. Typically, if you're in a relationship, married, partners, whatever, time for you to start doing a healing process. So Hennessy Tribe, this means that you all are at fault here and you all can change what's going on. Spirits say change the narrative, okay? Now we're gonna go over here to your 11th house. I like to say a joke in this house, and you guys got to deal with it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to your 11th house. Your 11th house is ruled by Aquarius, and it's governed by Uranus, the planet, not your butt. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this house represents your friendship zone, socializing, positive energy, those who want to see you do well. And in this house right here, the card that's inside of this house right here is you have the two of water in the upside down position. Having this card in the upside down position, spirits say there's a suffrage going on within two people in your friendship zone. This means that you're not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Hennessy tribe, listen to me. You have the chance to rewrite everything that's going on in your relationship, your friendship, family. It don't matter. Anybody who you love and care about dearly, 
the overall message of this is telling you guys to get back on track this is your friend zone this is positive energy that means that this is leading to the 12th house which is negative energy you guys have a chance to do the right thing so when your 11th house spirit is talking about you guys making amends they're saying you're losing friends you're losing partner your partner losing love with you people losing respect faith all that good stuff now their message to you in this house is you are seeing the situation accurately they saying you understand you can feel the hardship you can feel the cold shoulder you know it you know you know you just trying to stand your ground because you want to be right Hennessy tribe get over that sometimes you ain't got to stand your ground if you're in the wrong just do what the hell it takes to get your love life back on track to get your family back on track to get you to get you you know your relationship with that brother that sister that auntie that cousin that grandma hell that co-worker do the right thing Hennessy tribe now the overall message for this reading is going to come from this card right here all right this card here is Apolite. So your overall message for this reading is increased support. You're going to need these people. The message is telling you you're going to need these people. So stop burning your damn bridges. Increase support. It takes a village. Hell, I go a little deeper. It takes an army. Okay? So get everything back on track. Get your support system. All right? Now my call to action card let's see pay close attention to this card and it's a try because this is what you can do should do and need to do in order to better this situation mm -hmm. all right the call to action is in this house you have the hangman having the hangman in this call saying right now you're being stuck only thing spirit is saying do what you got to do. Take the chance. You won't be disappointed. Take the chance. Put it out there. Say your apologies. Try to mend it together and just wait for a reaction versus you popping off. Oh, I said it and they ain't say nothing. They left me hanging. If you guys been arguing, fighting and rebel rousing, saber rattling, it's going to take some time for that other person to calm down. Call to action. Make the first move. And just lie and wait. Once they get over their attitude, relationship is mended. You got your village back. You got your tribe back. And you got your warriors back. All right, Hennessy Tribe. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in universe. Because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you all. Soul Tribe. All right, Cigar Tribe, you chose the cigar. Now, before I lay down these cards, I'm gonna pick three numbers from this bowl and let's see what Spirit has for you. We have six. We have five. And then we have eight. All right. Six, five, and eight. Cigar Tribe, we're going to focus on those houses for your pick a card reading. All right. As you know, I like to do a call to action card. So this card will be the call to action card. I'm going to sit it right here. Pay close attention to this one. I remind you guys when we get there as well. So let's go. I'm going to go with your sixth house, your eighth house. And your fifth house. We're gonna go with the message. And then we're gonna go with the overall arching, what the reading is all about with this card right here. So I just set it right here. So let's start off with your first, your first house. So we're gonna go over here to your fifth house. Your fifth house, your fifth house is ruled by Leo and is governed by the sign. Your fifth house represents your sex life, entertainment, and luck. Sex life entertainment at all. It also represents your strength and your courage. And in this house right here, you have the two of fire in the upside down position. Cigar tribe. Two of fire, upside down position 
and your sex life, entertainment, and love. Can you guys be any more stagnant? Spirit is saying that there is nothing going on. That sex wise, mm -mm. you guys done, you either done lost your partner or you just don't want to deal with your partner. Entertainment wise, it means that you guys are in the house not wanting to do nothing. Our spirit is really saying you guys are being the one that avoiding interacting with somebody. Cigar drugs. Because cigar tribe, are you avoiding people who you want to deal with? Mm, people that you used to hang with spirit saying you're avoiding somebody now when it comes to the look spirit saying you got that non-trusting thing you think that if you hang out with this person like it's just you're just not gonna get satisfied you're not gonna be lucky enough so that's what's going on with the fifth house now the message spirit have for you within your fifth house cigar tribe is twin flame oh my god you guys are holding back on the person who you guys are supposed to be with. And this is not even a love reading. Spirit is just jumping down y'all asses to say, stop it. Contact your person. You're going to find the twin flame look for the lovers. For the people who just need a partner to hang out with, you guys are going to find some common ground with these people. You're missing the talk. You're missing the hugs. You're missing the kisses. You're missing the, the game playing. You're missing the fun. So just do it. Contact the person. Now we're going to go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and it's governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economics, future money, wealth, prosperity, growth, investments. In this house right here, Cigar Tribe, you guys have the nine of earth in the upside down position. Spirit saying not only if you guys avoiding your lovers, your friends and family, you guys are like being a recluse. You guys are just staying in the house, not doing nothing, not being anything. You guys not even saving for tomorrow. You guys are not even investing stuff that you need to do, should be doing for your financial future. Spirit saying cut this out. You got to till the soil. You got to make investment. I mean, what are you guys doing about your future money? Cigar tribe? Spirit is saying, you got, this is what you guys are doing and it's not a good look. You guys are just avoiding everything. Depression is a motherfucker. I'm going to say it like that. But you guys got no real reason to be depressed. So now, Spirit's message to you and your, and your sixth house of future economics is they want you to drink more water. Drink more water right here is, is saying, it's represented by Oshun. So drink more water, Spirit is saying, they, te they want me to tell you guys to get more emotional about living. Get more emotional about your your companions. Get more emotional about, you know, your finances. It's just a call to action card. Do what the fuck it is that you got to do to make you happy. How they say you either get busy living or get busy dying. Right now, you guys are getting busy dying. So spirit is saying get busy living again. Life don't stop. Just because you got an issue. Let's go. So now we're going to go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by, I'm sorry, your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind, what it is you think about, what it is you desire, what it is you want, what it is you hate. This is just all that deep down subconscious rhetoric that you go through, good or bad. In this house right here, you have the man card in the upside down position. Cigar Tribe, my cards don't play, and they don't lie. You guys are just giving up on hope. You guys are giving up on being that person you know you could be. You guys are just in this deep spiral. Even, even if you don't see it as a depression, you guys are spiraling out of control. You're probably hurting the same people that you love. You're probably doing battle, being offensive, being sneaky, being conniving. Spirit is saying it's time to stop that. This is your subconscious mind. You're at war. Deep down inside with the people that's supposed to be supporting you or the people that you're supposed to be loving, caring for. Spirit say break that cycle is not that bad. Now, Spirit's message to you, Cigar Tribe, is retreat to nature. There you go. Retreat to nature with love. That's a heart there. Spirit say you ain't got to fight no more. Just take a step back. Look at the bigger picture. See what caused the conflict. See what caused the issue. Retreat to nature and work on it. You got me? Now, we're going to go 
to what the overall reading was trying to say to you guys. This card right here. And this right here is represented, the overall reading is represented by the Moonstone. And this is saying heightened intuition. You hear me? This is just you guys feeling the feeling the separation, feeling the anxiety, feeling like you're going to be betrayed. Notice the word I said, going to be betrayed. You're feeling as if something's going to happen. So you guys are already giving up. The overall message is telling you guys not to give up. This is all in your head. This is heightened intuition. It's all in your head. And even if you've got an inkling that you're going to give that something going to leave you, that you're going to give up on everything, Spirit is saying, why aren't you doing anything to fix it? All right. Now, I love this card right here. This is my specialty. This is my call to action card. Pay close attention to what this card is telling you guys to do. Overall reading, but pay close attention to the call to action card, Cigar Tribe. And in this card right here, they have the Three of Cups. This says union, reunite. You got three women walking together, holding hands. They, they've conquered their fears, their issues, and they're together and they're walking, uh, walking the same path, rejoicing with themselves. Cigar Tribe, your call to action is to reunite with these people that you are so against, so afraid they're gonna hurt you, so just in your feeling. Call to action for this reading, reunite. Positive comments below. All right, Cigar Tribe. I love this reading. It's the call to action. It's what got me, that gets me with all these readings. You know what I'm saying? Again, positive comments below. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.